them and then sending them all over the planet. Heather Brent is live in Linden. Tell us all about it. Hi. Oh, let's talk about cherries. You got your cherry pie, your cherry jam, your cherry glaze, your cherry turnovers. I could go on and on. Cherry season is like Christmas to me. Linden has been called cherry capital of the world. And let's talk about how extensive the production is because people think it goes straight from the tree to the table, but that's not the case. There's actually a lot of steps that you have to go through to get the perfect cherry to all of your consumers. Scott Brown, production manager here at Murata Produce. Let's talk about this. It starts here. Yes, ma'am. So what we're doing here is we're separating the fruit that comes off of the tree in a cluster. We need one cherry with one stem to be able to simulate it onto our optical sorter. The important thing is we're being as delicate and easy handling as possible with this very gentle fruit. Okay, let's walk this way a little bit. What you're seeing on the conveyor belt right there is called a Rainier cherry. It's one of the biggest cherries that uh, you can actually get. It's a yellow to a pinkish red color. So a little different than a bean cherry or other types of cherries. Absolutely. It's a very sweet, very large, very firm texture, of dessert flavor qualities to it. Uh, it's a fantastic, uh, flavorful cherry for our consumers. All right, so you guys rinse the cherries, goes on to that conveyor belt. Um, they're already split, so yep. that machine back there knows not to cut the cherries, only to cut the stem. That's right. One cherry, one stem, individualized, one at a time, so that we can get as many photos of them and sort them as accurately as possible as they go through the sorting system. Okay, so we're actually going to skip one of the processes because that is a story all in itself that I'm going to tell you about later. So let's take it over here to one of the last steps. And you've actually got your employees here. What quality are they checking for? They're checking to make sure that this is the best quality product as possible. They've got to be large. They've got to be free from defect. They've got to be firm. They've got to be perfect for our end consumers. By the time they get to that end of the line, they're going into multiple different packaging styles, plastic clam shells, beautiful high graphic pouch bags. This is packing for both international and domestic markets, trying to please as many consumers as we can. All right. I, they are working hard. They got to work fast down there. Um, they're going to check for splits. They're going to check for any any type of just bad things to the cherries. Okay. Package them. What happens if it's not a perfect cherry? That ends up in a byproduct market. So if it's an edible defect, we'll sell it for uh, cash. Uh, real simple peddler sales. Uh, a lot of this stuff goes to smuckers, goes for extracts. Mm. Got it. Okay, so coming up in the next hour, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about one of the highest technological ways of sorting a cherry. It's actually faster than this, takes away a lot of, I guess, harming the cherries. And it's probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen on a production line. Oh, so you got to stay tuned for that. Yeah, love we'll production do. Line we'll like do. That. All right. Thanks, Heather. Brent live in Linden this morning. Coming up new at nine. Reading labels is a.